Luciano, I've got some words for you. There's some stuff I need to talk to you about. It's a really serious conversation. I'm here to have it right now. Are you up to have this conversation right now? Because if not, I can come back another time. But you and I, we've got some words. We've got some beef. Look, I don't know what's going on, but if you've got some words for me, I'm right here. I'm ready to hear them. If you've got some beef, I, I guess that's what's on the menu for today. And I'm ready to ask you to cook it and send it my way. Look, all you atheist organizers, all you atheist activists, you guys are really getting on my nerves, you know? I, I don't know how to say it to anyone else. I don't want to come off as rude or anything, but this is something I got to talk about and something I got to talk about with some urgency. Because honestly, all you atheist organizers, you guys are building communities. You guys are the reason that atheism is a religion, but so many atheists just don't realize it. Like... I don't understand why you guys are talking about how you lack belief in something, but then you guys are building communities around it. That's, that's crazy to me. The only way what you're saying makes sense is if you pretend that it's taking place in a world where atheism and where theism are viewed equally, but they're not. In the real world, all over the world, atheists are persecuted against. Atheists are viewed as extremists. Atheists are demonized. They're dehumanized. They're stripped of their rights. And that's not the case in every single country, but it's the case in plenty of countries. And even in the United States, there's plenty of atheists who've experienced discrimination because of the fact that they're atheists. The reason why there's people building communities is that we don't want to see ourselves and our friends and other people who are like us being dehumanized. We don't want to see us being stripped of our rights. We don't want to see us being abused by governments and by different societies. It's crazy to us that this is happening. The reason why so many of us, including myself, are building communities is that we want to have a place where we can talk about atheism openly and honestly. And not just that, but we also want to have a place where it's possible for believers who are on the fence or for people who are secretly atheists but can't express it openly to have a refuge where they can come and where they can be honest. They can talk about their doubts. They can talk about their lack of belief. And they can do this without being persecuted. They can do this without being made fun of. They can do this without being kicked out of places. The reality is that in this world, being a theist and being an atheist are not the same. They are not treated equally. Even if they're the same in theory in lots of different countries, there's places all over the world where society will isolate and will dehumanize not only people who lack belief, but even people who believe in gods that are different than whatever the majority of the population in a certain country or in a certain region believes in. And that's crazy to us. The reason why I am building a community, the reason why I am working hard to be an atheist organizer, to be an atheist activist, is because this, all of this, is crazy to me, and I want to fight to correct it, and I want to make atheism be a normal thing, and I want to push the world in a less theistic direction. And it's not that I want to fight against every theist everywhere. It's not that I want to wipe out belief. Although I do think that the world would probably be a better place without theistic belief, at the very least without some theistic beliefs. It's that I want to make it so that me and other people who hold my position or similar positions don't have to be worried for our lives. We don't have to be worried that we're going to lose a job. We don't have to be worried that we're going to be kicked out of the schools that we're in if we are open about our lack of belief. It's not fair that theists, or at the very least certain kinds of theists, are able to brag and they're able to display openly the signs of their religious faith and the signs of their religious beliefs. And people who lack beliefs and people who have beliefs that differ from them are not able to do the same thing. I'm not just creating a community for myself. I'm creating a community for anyone who actually wants to know what it's like to be an atheist. I'm creating a community for anyone who wants to know what it's like being a non-Christian in a Christian majority society. When I create the videos that I create that talk about religion, that talk about atheism, I'm not doing it for my own pleasure or for my own benefit. I'm doing it so that people who come in the future and so that people who don't know what that's like can watch these videos and so that they can understand things a little bit better. Yeah, but you're getting paid to fight on behalf of atheists everywhere, aren't you? Isn't that what you do as your career? And doesn't that just make everything worse? It's almost like you're trying to build a career out of something that you hope won't, one day won't be your career, and that just doesn't make any sense. 
Do you not realize that all over the world there's atheists whose social status, whose academic status, whose careers, and whose very lives are endangered because of the fact that there's atheists? That's ridiculous, and it's something that every single person on earth should be fighting against. Because it's not just atheists. There's also Christians, and Muslims, and Hindus, and Buddhists, and people of all religious faiths who are in places where they are not the majority, and their freedom of belief is something that exists only on paper. Every part of their lives is negatively affected by the fact that they don't believe what the majority believes. And it's something that all of humanity should be fighting against. We should all be fighting to end this sort of thinking. But we're not. And despite that, there are some of us who are. And it's not just atheist organizers, it's not just atheist activists. There are theistic organizers and theistic activists who in their own way are doing the same thing. And I know that, and I recognize that, and that's the reason why I'm not going after them. The only versions of those sorts of people that I go after are people who pretend to be like that, but what they're actually trying to do is preying off of ignorance, preying off of fear, and preying off of bigotry. But if someone is just living their lives, and they're just trying to rally people in their faith community, or in my case, in their non-faith community, then I am not going to go after them. And ultimately, that's not something that you agree with because you're going after me. And there's all sorts of people just like you who do not want people whose beliefs differ from their own to organize and to get together. So you go out of your way to demonize and to belittle them. And it's frustrating. And atheist organizers put up with it all the time. And sometimes it's not even people whose beliefs differ from ours. It's just people who are worried that our work is going to make our position seem like a religion, but the reality is that our position is not a religion and it has never been a religion. What unites us is the prejudice and the fear and the bigotry that we face. It's not something as simple as, oh, we all have the same position on an issue. Because as someone who is an atheist organizer in the real world, I can assure you there is an extreme diversity of thought within the atheist community. And there is an extreme diversity of thought within all communities who are united by their lack of belief in something. That's not something that unites communities. If anything, that's often a dividing factor. Because we don't share things in common. We have to learn how to get along. We have to learn how to accept there's people who are different from us in our communities. But we're growing every day. And we're not growing because of people like you. We're growing because of the work of hard-working organizers and activists. And that's what I'm hoping I can become. I'm hoping that I can create a community where it's safe for people to have questions. Where it's safe for people to explore ideas that were previously deemed unexplorable. As an atheist activist, as an atheist organizer, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm also trying to create a community wherein it's safe for people to acknowledge their lack of belief. And where it's safe for people who have beliefs but have questions to come in and ask us. To come in and have real conversations with people who have the same position or the same positions that I do. And I also accept that not everyone in the atheist community has to think like I do. I'm very glad of the diversity of thought that exists within our community. And I'm hoping that you've learned something from this. Because I understand where your fears and where your concerns come from, but they're not founded in reality. Even if they're things that you sincerely believe. Can you understand that? Or are we going to have to have another conversation about this in a different way in the near future? We're going to have to have another conversation about this in the near future. I have questions. I have concerns. But for right now... I guess the things that you've said have made sense. So I'm going to go and I'm going to come back when I have more questions and I'm able to pressure you for a more intense conversation than this. But I'm watching you atheists, especially you, you atheist organizer. That was a bit of a drama, but that wasn't a video I had originally planned to film today. So go check out everybody's favorite scarecrow. He just hit 1K subscribers and he deserves a whole lot more. I'll see you guys tomorrow when I upload another, hopefully not quite as dramatic, video. Until then, have a great night.